Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Abby, and today's video is a bit different. If you follow my channel and you know my videos, I normally do plenty content, but my husband and I have just bought a house, um, and it's not just any house. We've bought a 120 year old period English cottage, and it's in a really bad way. Um, you can probably tell behind me, it's really not in the best shape, and it has been empty for two years. So. There's cobwebs everywhere, it smells old, there's like everything needs to be taken back to stone, um, floorboards up, absolutely everything you can imagine needs to be done. So as a bit of a reference point for myself and my husband and also an empty house tour, I wanted to show you round and show you what we're working with. And um, yeah, remember be kind, we've only just got the keys about like 10 minutes ago. Um, so it is a bit rough, but we're gonna fix it. And before we get into the video, don't forget to like this video if you enjoy it and don't forget to subscribe for more planty and also house renovation content. So I'm going to start you on the ground floor, which makes sense, obviously. So as you come through the door, we have our, our stairs going up um, and we have this beautiful alcove above us, which is um, an original feature. So we'll obviously keep that. Um, and then I'll take you through to the left as you would come in through the door. Um, and this is the main living room. Um, so I think the ceilings are about um, 12, maybe 13 foot. They're very, very tall, as you can probably tell. It's quite echoing in here because there's nothing in here. Um, but this part of the house, the main house is stone built. So we've got the stone walls, which will be taken back to stone. We're gonna properly take everything back, uh, floors up and do it properly. Um, and as you can see, it is in a bad way. Um, the electrics have been pulled out, it needs a complete rewire. Um, so yeah, it's not <laughs> it's not the, the most glamorous of houses at the moment, but it soon will be. Um, but I'll take you through. So this is the kitchen. Um, again, the windows are huge, they're massive. Um, and then this is where the current kitchen is. So it looks new on camera. It's obviously two years old. Um, but it was installed purely for the purpose of it changing from a commercial unit as a nursery to a residential. Um, so it's new, but the oven is absolutely disgusting. So um, yeah, we're gonna have fun cleaning that. <laughs> but at the moment, this probably isn't a priority. We haven't really had time to plan too much other than I know I want a big island here because we have that in our flat now. I love islands, so I think that's what we're going with. Um, so here, this is the way down to the cellar, but I'll show you that in a minute. And I'll take you through here. So now we'll go into the extension. This is where it becomes it's from stone to brick, I believe. Um, so it's a bit of a tight squeeze for the timber on the floor. But through here, we have our utility room, which will eventually be a, a utility plant room. And my vision is to have cabinetry, um, have like floating shelves and plants here and it looking really, really, just really like green and beautiful in here with it being a functional utility. Um, and again, the windows are absolutely massive. Um, the only problem with the windows is the window sills, as you can see, this one's not looking the best. It's so low, um, you, it's not really a good height to have something just join it, you know, like a, a ledge. So. That's the problem with the kitchen, um, but we'll work around that. Um, and then through here, we have our back door, which is currently a fire exit. Um, it's safe and secure, obviously, but again, it's not ideal at the moment. Um, and then through here, we have our we have our downstairs toilet. Um, I'll the camera will come round, but you won't be able to see because there's no light, obviously. Um, we're thinking have, of having a bit of a mud room, so maybe like a shower here um, and then a toilet. Um, just somewhere where if we ever get dogs or we ever have children, they can clean down because countryside life is messy when it gets to winter time. And then obviously we will be going straight back through to the main house again. Um, so let's take you upstairs and show you there.
So I love these stairs, but I would really love it if it felt a bit more open, so taking the carpet up and having the raw wooden floor. Got a lovely window ledge here, looking on the back of another cottage's property. Um, all of the um, windows in the house are in front of the property, which is what I said about having morning sun to like an um, evening sun. And this is the main bedroom, I think. Um, it's, <laughs> it's in a bad way. Um, we think that there's, well, there is, there used to be a chimney, so can you hear that? We think that's a stud wall, or well, we know it's a stud wall. So we're gonna take that out and see if we can repurpose and um, restore the chimney that's behind that. And then in here is a walk-in cupboard a very big one, but they they started putting plumbing in here. So that's your, um, I think it's your hot and cold. I think, I don't know, it's plumbing. And then they have like a toilet um, output input thing here. So we're going to make this into a, a bit of an ensuite. So just like a, an overhead shower, like a traditional shower and a toilet in there, which would be really, really handy to have upstairs in the main bedroom. And then coming down and then back up again, which again is not my favourite thing, but we'll live a bit. Um, we have a huge attic. Um, if you pull it down, it comes with the stairs. It's like that really fancy attic. I've never had an attic before, so I'm quite excited about that. Um, we have the bathroom, which is unique. Um, <laughs> it's um, old. Um, not in the best way. Yeah, that's just the best way to describe it. Old and unique. And then through, this landing is quite a nice landing size. I've always wanted a bit of a bigger landing. Um, so I'm, I'm glad with this. And then in here, we have another bedroom. So this is bedroom number two. Again, really, really deep window sills. Um, really nice kind of like lighting through here and this is probably the size of maybe a small child's nursery i don't know we, we haven't really thought about it yet but uh, nice and bright and white magnolia is going notes throughout the whole house and then this is the last bit of the original property so this is like the, um, they extended it from here. So they've obviously closed this up. I believe this is still the stone cottage. Um, I believe we'll be using this as an office just because um, this, is, this is like a good size for an office and I work remotely from home as does my husband. So a good office space or third bedroom, but probably more office. And in here is the third and final bedroom, which is probably bigger than the other one, I think, but I think I prefer to be on that side where we might eventually have an ensuite. So yeah, it's it's looking again very questionable. We've got some either leaking or damp issue, we're not sure yet. I think we need to investigate. Um so that's gonna be a whole project in itself. Um I mean that's salt buildup, which is really not the best. And again, another chimney. Um, this must be a chimney, but thinking about it, if this is an extension, then maybe it's a new chimney, but either way, we're gonna open that up and then we've got another access point for the other side of the attic. We think the attic, obviously where the original roof was, finishes and then they've got just another space above us. So yes, that is our 120 year old um, property. It is a massive, massive renovation project. It's probably going to take us, um, I don't know, two years maybe. Um, and obviously we're going to be living here whilst we do it up. So that's going to be fun. Okay, so I'm going to show you the attic. Um, I feel like this is punishment for my husband because I don't want to do this. But this... If, these are the fancy ladders that I totally thought were fancier than they are. But I remember as a child having to get a step ladder and it was a bit dodgy. So this is one step up, <laughs> quite literally. Um, so I'll take you into the attic. 
Right, let's go. It's a little bit scary, so. Oh, so <laughs> here is the attic. So we have a hot water cylinder here, which we'll be changing to a, a gas boiler when we eventually get gas. Um, I wonder whether the other hatch does come up there, but I'm not sure. Uh, lots of questionable things. Then, yeah, so just good space. Obviously, we'll want to clear this out. I wonder what that is. <laughs> um, some timber. Yeah, it's, um, it's looking very attic-like. Okay, so I'm going to take you down to the bit that sold me on the house. Well, actually, just seeing the outside sold it to me, but this is what I was most excited about. So this is the cellar. Um, there's cobwebs everywhere, which I really don't like, but we'll work around that. Um, and you can literally see the stairs, like little wooden stairs. Um, I'm trying to see where the cobwebs are. Ah! So, God. So this used to, I believe, have all of the um, electrical stuff. Like you see how is we've got electricity down here, which is good. No idea what that unit is. And here is a load of rubbish, which is always fun when you move house, isn't it? Um, but yeah, you can see like the stone walls. There's obviously some cinder blocks in there. I'm not sure why. Um, but it's, I mean, put your suggestions in the comments below what you would use this space as. It's, it's got obviously electricity, so we can have our, we can have our, um, things down here, like our, um, appliances and stuff, you know, like a washing machine, but I'm not sure I'd want to do my laundry down there. So that concludes the empty house tour. Um, I don't know if I mentioned already, but we will probably um, not move in here um, for about two months, maybe a month, um, just so my husband's got time to like demo and, you know, have a really good go at like getting um, a start on the house before there's any boxes and like any of our personal belongings here. So um, yeah, I really hope you enjoyed that. I'm looking forward to eventually coming and living in the countryside. Um, I currently live in the city centre, so it's going to be a real change after living in the city centre for about 11 years now. Um, so I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe for more planty and also um, cottage renovation content from myself. See ya!